Hi everybody, I've been getting some feedback about my Tesla charger setup in the garage and I, believe it or not, I have not even tested this yet. So I'm going to show you what we have here. And this is my first time using this gimbal too, so we'll see if I can improve myself, myself here. But this is the charging system from the panel here. It's a sub panel coming from the main panel in the house. It goes into this box. I'm running six gauge wires. It goes into this box. It gets bifurcated um, and it goes to charger on the left, which is the new, the latest Gen 3 charger from Tesla and the charger on the right. So these guys are power sharing. Hopefully I've set it up correctly using the Tesla app. And in order to do that, you have to have the 3D barcodes on there. And the other one is behind it so I don't lose it because I tend to lose everything. This is my daughter's car. She usually parks in the other garage where there is another Tesla charger. I usually park in this garage where there's dual lifts for a couple of other cars. So this is the first time I'm going to do this. You guys are going to get to see and hopefully it will be successful. And I'm going to dock into my car. And believe it or not, I had no measurements made when I put these chargers in. But the coolest thing is I can park front or rear with uh, this car. So I can park with the nose in or butt in and the cord will still reach. So I thought that was pretty cool. So this guy's charging now. And if we look in here, it will tell us that it's charging at... Mm, let's see here. Oh, the dash. Sorry. It just crept up and it's saying 26 miles per hour for now. It'll go up to like 29. But we're going to go over to the Mickey Mobile over here. Which what I just saw was I used the charge cable on the left there and I pushed the button and it actually opened both Teslas. So we'll get this guy out and we'll dock in here and hopefully nothing happens to me when I do this. Turn green please. Well, hopefully it's thinking. Or I didn't set it up. Oh, it turned green. Let's see what Michelle's car is saying in here. It's probably thinking real hard. Uh, this kid likes music, so probably going to get killed with music. All right, nope. All right, well. And I'm not sure how the logic works, but okay, my car must be having le must have less power because, look, Michelle's car is maxed out at 18 amps charging at a whopping three miles per hour it's gonna take 13 hours to fill up her car but she's got a p100 and i'm not sure how the logic works but i do know from the tesla literature is that my car should charge faster then so if hers was at 18 amps i'm kind of lazy Oh, great. Yeah, mine's going just super fast here, guys. I'm kidding. I'm being sarcastic. Hold on. Okay, so if you could read that. Mine's going to be done in two hours. Going at 14 miles per hour, 21 amps. Michelle's is at 18 amps, so we're constrained to 40 amps. And yes, I could have put in... A 60 amp circuit so they would share 60 amps instead of sharing 50 amps but let's see here let's use this cool joystick I've got a mini split and that sucker draws 30 amps my sub panel um, is a hundred amp sub panel so that's already gonna be like I guess possibly 90 amps and I might be doing work in here I'm you know somewhat handy and I'm working on cars and 
and whatnot in this garage. So I didn't want to just have 10 amps left over to do something. So um, yeah, I usually don't run my cars down really low. So I think it's just fine to use it this way. And most likely my daughter and I will not go to work again until tomorrow. We both have over 200 miles of range. So I think we're going to do it like this for a while. If one of us really had to charge quickly, we would not be power sharing. So this is the first time that we are power sharing. And it seems to be working just fine, guys. I'll monitor from my cell phone after this. Hopefully you guys like it. But this is the messy garage with all the other stuff in there it has the old elon musk signature charger so yeah if you need to charge faster then you would just come over here so there's no power sharing so hence this is why she parks over here more anyways thanks for watching hope you guys learned a thing or two i'm really proud of my installation and still a big tesla fan thanks for watching please subscribe